Okay, so apparently you can only move with the controller. So that's a huge bug that needs to be fixed now. <laughs> and he's, so people... Fuck, just skip it. If... So if you don't have a 360 controller, you can't beat the ending of the game. That's fucking stupid. I'm waiting for the game to load again. Get into it. Oh! So this is the checkpoint. Of the game. So there's game. So there's a game breaking bug in the game. Where if... In the last... Phase of the boss... It switches to Barry. And... You can't move. Literally the, the, the game... Controls... Don't work. You can't move. You cannot move at all. And so you have to use a controller. Because in all their wisdom, that's a huge bug. And if you don't have a controller, then you're fucked. And on top of that, I went, I turned the game off to have a look and what the fuck was going on, found that out, and now I've got to do this again. What a way to ruin your fucking ending, Capcom. Could you, could you, can you please do something right for once? Can I skip this? You can't skip this. Oh, there you go. That is bullshit. So I've got to do this again. With a controller. And, oh my god, what, I just don't, why? How is, why? The movement control. How did they fuck that up so badly? That's huge. How did they not see that in Q&A? The fact that the controls don't work on a mouse and keyboard. No one, so no one played through that section with a mouse and keyboard and was like, Oh, hang on a minute. I can't move. I've got to use these horrible controls. Uh, why? I can't see a thing. This is not a fun way to do this. This is a fun mechanic. I love it when my screen is just completely covered and I can't fucking see anything. Would you? I did fucking nothing. She fucked off into the vents. Into the ventilation system she went. Can Capcom do anything right? <laughs> I don't think so. Not to mention the fucking awful frame rate. I can't see her because of the smoke. For some reason, her fucking exploding things create smoke. <laughs> like they're smoke bottles. Rifle ammo, I can't use that. For the love of God. Oh, 
Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Oh, hi. I can't see you. Where are you? Pop your head out. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's so frustrating, that fucking mechanic. Why? Why? Did no one Q&A test this and was like, maybe we should take this, that scream thing out. Or make it less insane. To where I can't see anything. How do I turn my light on? There you go. Need some... Need some ammo. Or something. How do I get my... There we go. Rifle ammo. Rifle ammo. Brilliant. Guess what I don't have? A rifle! Oh. More rifle ammo! Yay! Just what I wanted. Oh, there you are. Well, that fucked up. Come on, come forward a bit. Oh, the fire went out already. Oh, wait a minute, that's poisonous gas. Oh, shit. Well, that was lucky. That's so frustrating. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I've got no ammo for anything. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a there we go. Yay! Tried to do the dodge, but it didn't seem to do it. I don't know what the button is. Is it... Is it B? Oh, it's B. I was pressing A. Like, why is it not working? Where's Moira when you need her? Do with some ammo game. Oh, thanks. What am I supposed to do? I've got no ammo. Christ alive. They fucked this last episode up royally, didn't they? Oh, how are you? Oh, anyway. Hey, Magma Memo. Fucking do any fake. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Now we can get back to the bit we were at before. Skip this bullshit. I said skip this bullshit. You can't skip it. Because fuck you. Nope. It's 2015. Let people skip your fucking cutscenes for fuck's sake. And put proper checkpoints in your game. Don't make people do that in your boss fight again because your game was bugged. Skip it. And now we can get back to a bit that should have been awesome, but then was ruined by the fact that they didn't test the game at all. Thank you. Appreciate that. There we go. One thing I like though is the way she looks. I think she looks really cool. 
It's a bit like Ada Wong, I think. A little bit. Barry, you have to watch this terrible captain again. Ah, I broke my legs again. You got red demon eyes. Bit easy. It's a bit easier to aim with the control actually because the mouse control is not very good in this game. It's easier to keep a stable, a stable point. Okay, now hopefully this works. Here we go. Look, I can move now, but you can't if you're using a keyboard and mouse. It's, that's terrible. Fucking Don't worry, sweetie. I'm not gonna leave you. Don't you dare me down. We got a lot of driving up to do. Where are we going? Where are we going? This way. Well that works. Huh. This is cool. See, I like this. This is a really cool idea. I'm kind of disappointed in what they've done with the story. I thought maybe they'd have some balls to do something, but then they were like, no, we're just going to have a happy ending. Which you guys is fine, but I thought it would have been cool. And I do like how they're like... I, I, I kind of like it, but it's cheesy. It's cheesy. How, like, Claire comes in the helicopter. I don't know fucking how. Godzilla! It's Godzilla! This is a good boss fight. Well, I don't even really call it a boss fight. It's barely a boss fight. We're gonna go with this way. Oh. Take it away, Claire. Oh. I wonder if they're copying the evil within at all. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck because it's awesome. On, there we go. Well, that was fucking easy. All that because the fucking keyboard controls don't work. That pissed me off. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the CGI work is actually really good. Wow. And they all lived happily ever after. Moira went on to have seven kids. Barry went on to be a granddad. He set up his own cafe with his own Barry Donuts. Everyone came far from a world, from other world, other worlds, from other countries to taste the Barry Donuts. Look, Moira. I know I should have let you have your space. It's okay. I gave you plenty of reasons to worry. You held your own out there, Moira. Of course you did. She's a fucking Burton. <laughs> Had you forgot about Natalia? Uh oh. Anyway, let's let these guys come in and clean up. So, what are you gonna do now, Barry? What I always do. No. Oh. I'm gonna go back to being a father. Huh, you're gonna adopt her. That's cool. But they still got the wrist, the bracelets on. Oh. It makes you all warm and fuzzy inside. Oh. Well. 
It's cheesy, but I, I like the ending. But I kind of wish they would have had the balls to go somewhere else with it. Uh, would have been would have been interesting. So that's the end. That's the end of Resident Evil Revelations Two. The the there's no doubt that the final episode was a bit disappointing because it. I mean, the first part with Claire and Moira was a bit crappy, and Barry Burton's bit was too overly long because you didn't get to play as Claire and Moira for that long. The pacing was off. I would say very off, and it the frame rate was terrible. The frame rate was the worst in this in this episode, which really took a lot of the enjoyment out of it. There seemed to be a lot of there didn't see there wasn't a lot of combat at least in the first like hour and a half, so it was kind of a bit dull. There wasn't any much challenge, and what what guys what zombies there were what you could just shoot them in the head once and they're dead. So it was very little challenge in that. There was a lot of... I didn't like the gas... The gas mechanic. There was this kind of... Eh, just kind of made it so you had to run in blind. And hopefully you went the right way. And that bug at the end really kind of ruined it. But the, the boss fight... The final boss fight was good. It was a good final boss fight. And I liked that bit at the end there. Um, but, uh, the ending, the ending is cheesy, it's like a good old cheesy kind of 80s, 90s, end, 90s flick ending, action movie ending. I kind of wish, I th they don't explain how Moira got out, though, that's what I'm saying, like, we saw Moira die. <laughs> like, and she got out of it only with her leg bandaged. I, I, I was, that was like the big shock at the end of episode one, it's like, Moira. She's dead. I'm like, whoa. But then it kind of ruins it a bit at the end. It kind of ruins it a bit at the end there. So I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't have the guts to do something with that. Or at least at least explain why how Mora survived, you know? The story was good. But like I said, a bit dis like disappointing. Like there, how did she get out of that at the end? <laughs> She's there. How did she get out of that? We'd never find out. She died. She died. But she's somehow fine. So overall, it's been a decent ride. Obviously, it's an episode. It's kind of like a you know, kind of mini game. Each episode. The first episode was the weakest, simply because. Oh, is it telling us how she survived here? What? The Russian guy found her. And they survived with the Russian guy? So they couldn't be asked to actually tell us how this happened. They just have to show us like a, like a slide, a, a screenshot. And you just have to presume and believe them. That's kind of lame. But the game is... About 20 odd, 20, 30 quid. And you get your bang for your buck. There's a lot of content here. Uh, that, like I said, episode 1 was the weakest. Episode 2 was really good. Episode 3, I think, was maybe the best. Yeah, the, the best, I'd say. Episode 3. Really good. And um, episode 4 was not as good as 2 or 3, but it was better than 1. But I'd say it had some worser moments than one like one was like a straight meh but the last episode was it went down and up and down and up there were some really bad moments but there were some pretty good moments in terms of the boss fight at the end but the CGI work is really good which I don't know surprised me um, but the technical issues hold the game down which is annoying Again, it's like the Evil Within all over again. Freaking technical issues hold the game down. But, like I said, loads of bang for your buck. If you like the content, if you actually like the gameplay, you know, you've got raid mode, you've got all the characters in raid mode. You could be playing this game for a long time. So, you said there's lots to do. Raid mode content, four episodes. Plus, we've got two bonus episodes, which I'm not sure what the hell they're going to be. 
We'll see if they're any good. I don't know what they are. Don't know how long or... Or, you know, or what you do in them. But we'll find out. Uh, I don't know, it's been pretty... For a first step into episodic stuff, it's been a... It's pretty, I'd say it's been pretty successful. With some hitches and bumps. But, you know, not bad for first time episodic. You know, they did the episodic nature justice. You know, they released one every week, which was really good. Fucking trail trail. Released one every three months. Um, and... I forgot my point. My point was, you know, they, they released one every, every week. And it, I think it helped the game. I think if this game would have came out in one big chunk, it wouldn't, it would have been like, eh. But because it was, it was like when you beat an episode, you're like, oh, I actually want to see what's going to happen next. Because the story is interesting and the gameplay is good, solid. So, not bad. Um, a little, like it's a little bit disappointed with the final episode. It's, it's a bit anticlimactic, I would say. Very easy, which is kind of disappointing because I think the challenge was good in the second and third episode, but the challenge wasn't really here. Um, it didn't feel like the areas were well designed for for what you had to do with them. But I, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I really liked, like I said, like the second and third one. But the ending is kind of lame. <laughs> it's a bit lame. It's a bit disappointing. Yes, it's like... It's the safe, like, happy ending where everyone survives and it's happy and yay. And I survived somehow, even though I clearly died. But it's cheesy in a good way. The characters are really likeable. The characters are really good, which surprised the fuck out of me. The characters are great. The characters are funny. They're likeable. Um, the AI isn't terrible. It, it, it depends, though. In that final episode, the AI was a bit shitty. <laughs> Natalia's AI was a bit... She wouldn't point at the invisible things. Oh, God, here we go. I like the long hair. Is it Natalia's birthday? Well, excuse me. Hey, Polly, you see my jacket over there? Natalia, are you upstairs? Come on down and get ready. Uh oh. Is Alex still in her mind? How did they get the bracelets off? I see. I think Alex is still in her mind. That was an interesting ending. <laughs> True or false? That's an interesting ending. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Well then, that was the episode four of Resident Evil Revelations Two, and concludes the fight and main game. You locked you locked bonus weapons, just like in um Resident Evil fashion, you know, you unlock some cool bonus stuff that gives you a good reason to go through the game again and just have some fun messing around. Um alright. Do 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 is what now? Just put there you go. Okay, so the next two things we have are the extra episodes, so we'll check that out in the next video.